Hello chess friends and welcome to the round 4 of the World Championship match from the 1960 between the Tal and the Botany. Here we have one nice draw but a very sharp game. So they play Nimso Indian, Samish variation and let's see how it goes. It starts with the d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, a3, bishop takes c c3, b takes c3. So that's uh, all main moves in that line. So after the castle, here white goes with f3. For many beginners player, it doesn't look like a natural move because it takes place for a knight from g1 to comes an f3. But uh, idea of the f3 move is to support pawn from the e2, go on e4 and take control over the center. But d5 was played, c takes d5, e takes d5 and then e3 because it's not the right time to push e4 so bishop to f5 knight to e2 knight to bd7 knight to g3 attacks the bishop bishop goes on g6 and bishop d3 of course the white will trade that light colored bishop because he wants to push e4 but for that idea to push e4 uh, he need to trade light colored bishops so c5 castle rook to e8 and idea for a white is uh, to create a strong center. So black will try to stop that idea of the white. And after rook to e8, rook e1, and queen c7, bishop takes g6, h takes b6. And it's time to push e4, c takes d4, c takes d4, and rook a c8. Of course, that black will put the rook on the open file. So now he's controlling the c file, which is very important. So bishop goes to g5, uh, queen to c2, and white will not accept that trading on c2 square because that's not good. Let's see why. If the queen takes, then rook takes, and the position of the rook on the c2 square is very good because uh, he's controlling the only one open file here, and he can uh, prepare some attack on the king. And let's see, after queen to c2, bishop takes f6, now queen takes d1, rook takes d1, and knight takes f6, so here's a big pressure on the e4 pawn, so e5, and knight goes to h5. It's not a good position for a knight, but there is no uh, good place for, for, to go with the knight from the f6 square, so Tal decided to go on h5, offer knights for trade, and if the white accept that trading on h5, black can improve his uh, pawn structure on, on the king side. So after knight h5, knight goes to e2. White did not accept that trading, so uh, he wants to go back with the knight for a moment and take control over the f4 square, which was the only one available for a knight from h5. So rook to c2, attacks the knight, king f1, g5. Uh, idea of the g5, of course, is to uh, control f4. So offer rooks for trade. And then g3 to stop idea of the knight to f4, f6, rook takes c2, rook takes c2, rook b1. Uh, the most important thing in the rook and games is to, to play active with the, your rooks. So rook to b1 is one attacking move, so he's attacking the pawn on b7, so white wants to take the pawn. And idea is also to move the rook on the square b5. From that square, he can attack the pawn on d5. So b6 was played, rook goes to b5, f takes e5, d takes e5, and rook c5. Of course, uh, he will not let the white to take the pawn on d5. So knight goes to d4, king f7, centralizing kings. So g6, king to d2, knight g7, rook b1, rook a5. Knight goes to c2 to defend the pawn, knight to e6, king b4, rook c5, h4, g takes, and rook takes, of course, he will not take with the, with the pawn, because it's much better to keep the pawn connected, so d4, threat to play rook to c3, and knight takes, rook takes on, the, on e5, so knight e6, uh, king takes e6, and here white goes with a4, and after rook g5, uh, white can save the pawn here by, by pushing him, or defend with the rook, but if he defends with the rook, that rook becomes very passive, so if he push, also this rook is 
trapped in some way, so first he can give a check, and after king moves to f6, uh, they agree for a draw, but the white will continue this game with the, he could continue that game with the g4, but um, uh, that didn't happen, so they agree here for a draw, because obviously uh, that's a draw position, white is playing with the pawn majority on the king side, with two pawns on f3 and g3, against the one on g6 square, uh, the same thing happened on the, the queen side, white is playing with the one pawn and black with the two, and generally uh, for that level of playing uh, it's not possible to finish this game with a, with a good score um, and to win the game, any of them. So that was the round four, they scored the draw here, and uh, we'll see what happened in the round five. Thank you for watching and see you in the next game. Bye bye.